we don't want to do. Or we don't like to do. This also procrastinate. That's a result of this past, future, and present. See, we are caught in this trap. We are caught in the present, but we go back to the past. And, 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 okay, and it could be because of certain bad experience from people or past that you've done, and that has taken some problem. Now, how do we overcome this? See, this is the mindset that we have, and how do you change the mindset? Unless you try that, unless you literally go out and do it in your own mind, to say no, you challenge your own ability, then only you, your mind will open. See, small windows of opening will be there. But if you don't challenge yourself, you will always be stuck with this. I've never done it before, I can't do it. And no, nobody's going to help you. And you will also remain like that. Okay? That's, that's, that's why when people, you employ people, and they do a specific kind of job, they are stuck with that. They are not, uh, when you say multitasking, is I can do this task, another task, another, different task, but not all at one time, but at different times. So, multiple tasks I can do, but at different times, meaning I can do different, different tasks. So, when you become specialized in one area, then you can't do something else different. Uh, I've seen many examples of people not wanting to do different things. They are quite familiar with what they are doing. They stuck to what they are doing. Okay? We just heard this, uh, uh, this afternoon, this morning, in fact, that a particular person has grown to a certain stage. She doesn't want to take up a new job. What does that indicate? Sunita, huh? what does that indicate to that person? Comfort zone. You see? You reach a comfort zone, you don't want to take on a new challenge. And the people that she's reporting to accept this. This is a danger. Sign of danger in the company. Isn't it? Meaning that if you're not prepared to accept challenge, challenge uh, that means your company, however big it is, uh, is going to go down. Uh, that's why you find that they say that Many companies uh, can reach up to a certain point uh, and then it will slowly float away. And this is the reason why. Okay. So here, my advice is challenge yourself. Open up your mind. Meaning, try doing it. Look at me, I'm 80 years old. I'm trying to fix all kinds of new, challenging electronic toys. Fitting it around, okay? Maybe I come up this day to the electronic cameras. <laughs> I, I do not know, okay? See, we are caught up in the past. And we, we don't understand this, okay? Whatever experience you have is the past. But the going forward is a different feel of your different thing on your level. Because that's new. When you go to do something new, it requires you to think. And if you don't think, you're not going any further. You stop short. That's it. And, and, and you know, if you, if you examine this, uh, you'll find there are many, many areas that uh, you yourself in your daily life, you do this all the time. It's the challenge to get it done. Meaning, are you willing to try it out? Or not? Just try it out. At least once. Okay? Now, this is area. See, a lot of people have this problem. How long does it take me to do a certain work or a task? How long does it take? I estimate. We always have a problem. Either we allocate too much time or too little time. Okay? And if you like something, the hours will be a long. You, you, you don't mind spending more time on it. That's also the other area. If you want to get out of this, and this is important to understand it, how do you estimate how much time you need to do something? My always, my simple example is, if I do not allocate the time, I don't know how long it's going to take. The best way to do it is, I'll work on it for the first five minutes. And then, as I'm doing this for five minutes, I will put a lock click, just allocate five minutes to do it. 
and I see that I, I'll do a bit of outline or whatever that is I'm doing, I say, okay, this is not so tough as I thought it was. Okay, we can get a few things done. So immediately after doing that five minutes, I won't continue on. I will allocate a fair amount of time. Usually, it will be a maximum of two hours for that particular task. It may be anything, preparing something, going and delivering it, whatever, two hours, maximum. Okay? And during that period, I not only do the preliminary part, I also do the second. And usually, I will finish it within the two hour period. But sometime, it may stretch. And in that case, I will allocate another hour sometime later for me to go through and see how I can make it a little better. So, this is a, a thing that you learn. What suits you best? How do you approach it? And how do you do it? I mean, again, it, it's an estimate you do. If not, what happens is that you think about it, you wait for the right time. I mean, can I do it the next? Okay. All this would be conducive. You want a conducive right? uh, avenue or time to get it done. You will not get it. See? You will not. This is, a, this is something that you need to do. And usually, a lot of people get caught in this. So, okay, one of the things I believe people don't do it. I saw that example the other day. I went to a company. <coughs> I was there at 8 o'clock. They started at 13. So I asked one of the staff, uh, why aren't you at work? We are already in the office. So it's not 8.30 yet. Okay. What does it tell you? What does it tell you? What does that tell you? No. Huh? What does that tell you? What do you think it tells you? A staff who's early, early in office, but said, it's not me yet. What does that tell you?
in which all software is. There is another structure, okay? That structure is different from blockchain. This is a, a straight line, we, we like a tree like that, okay? This one is flat, and then every block has a chain, and each chain is linked to one more block. This one is free of that, the new one. That technology is, is as a name for it, I don't know that. Okay? When that comes into effect, <coughs> that the speed at which you process information will be far greater. But there are, there are some authorities that are trying to push it down. When it works, the processing speed will be really, 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 really seconds or minutes. See, because technology, in terms of the platform, the foundation to take off, is a lot. Okay? You can do banking now through, through uh, a phone, isn't it? Can you bank a phone? Yes. Huh? You could write an app for it. <coughs> okay, I always figure this out. How do, you, how do you take cash and tell the, the apps to bank it up? Huh? Transfer from bank to bank. Bank to bank, but not cash. Okay, you pause it and check. No, no, no. But still, you still, still have to go to the bank. bank. Check deposits still need to go bank and not go to the ATM. The various yeah, ATM. Yeah, they, they call it check deposit machines. Okay. What happens if they have a gadget? They can eat up your check and say, "Okay, you're all right." <laughs> I haven't come there yet. Only if you yeah, it's probably coming. Can happen now. Yeah. 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 Anything is possible. There. You may have a that little machine in your house through a telephone or something like that. They put in the check. Shh. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm just saying that again. It's possible, right? So, as technology is moving very fast, you need to think about the tomorrow, the future. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that, hey, if you don't look at what you need to do tomorrow, or at least spend some time looking at the future, you screw them, huh? You really will be screwed. Because somebody else will move faster. Then you find more ingredients is more negative. You don't look forward to what I can do. Because we don't think about the future. I'm not saying the future is for you to decide. I'm saying you can plan for the future. Not necessarily that that's the way it's going to happen. But unless you take the effort to think about the future, that means it becomes a burden. Then you're stuck always with the present. And you're moving much slower than people who are growing much faster. A lot of people are there. The majority of the population are today and yesterday. Tomorrow, I don't know yet. Okay, I'm not saying you mustn't plan for tomorrow. I'm saying you need to plan. And you probably see that too, isn't it? Huh? As you keep planning for two, three, four months, you begin to see the thing clearer as the day gets closer. Is that, is that what's happening to you? So that's why this is important too. Now how do we make that happen? Now? Okay, something that you've got to think about. And every day, a I, I, long time ago, when I used to focus on this time management thing, I, I had a friend that said, at least spend Three minutes, three minutes for the whole year. Meaning you are now in July. Spend three minutes a day looking at the next one year until July, in this case, like 2019. You see, you see every day, 12 months again. Just three minutes. Somebody asked me, why these three minutes now? Why not five minutes? I said, give it a try for three minutes and see what happens now. That means you're looking at July 2019 now. After all the 30 days now. Then you, you think about, hey, what are the things that I want to follow up on that day? Something like, start that small habit. 
that takes you. So every day, spend three minutes, that's all. Right? Can you afford three minutes? Yes, you can. So think about that. Right? So what are you doing? You're actually stretching yourself to go into the future. And if you organize yourself well enough, I believe right? there's a possibility that you can probably do much better. This I believe very much so. Okay? So that's what I'm saying here. Okay, now we come to this part, okay? You see, there are things that, you, you know, these perfect people who want to be perfect, want to do things that they're really perfect, huh? that also is a problem. That can cause procrastination too, because you want to do the best. I know, I know, some of even my old staff, they, they always complain that I look at it, sometimes into details, okay? So that can cause procrastination. My view is like that. Huh? You don't have to be a perfectionist completely, but at the at least uh, try, try very much. You know, if you can get 80 percent right, go ahead, uh, move on. Uh, you can always make changes along the way. You don't have to do everything right all the time, but if you can do it uh, and take it away, in a, in a way, uh, you don't have to be perfect, but hey. Try to do whatever you can, and then move on. And perhaps you want to visit that again, like I explained to you just now. <coughs> I look at an hour and say, I review this one. I always look at one hour in everything I do. I may finish it less, but that's my standard. I look at time to look at it and say, hey, can I do it any better? So that way, you look at what you've done, and can it be improved? Are you happy with it? Can you do it better? And that, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you, you can't wait until you be perfect. There's no such thing. But it shows one thing. The result of what you're going to get will largely depend on your ability to understand what is required from what you're doing. See, we never look at the end result. It's like students going for exam. Any student will tell you, when they leave the examination hall, whether they get an A or whether they get a B, they can't tell you whether they get A plus, but I can tell you this is an A, that is a B. Any student who has done his or her studies, any student can tell you that. Okay? And I'm quoting you from experience, okay? But there are people, you ask them, I don't know, uh, wait till the result. And you know that the results are not going to be very good. Uh. Why so? Because you did not do your homework. Uh. You did not do the work. So you went into the hall hoping the question would be easy. Or hoping that that question that you study will come up. You understand? Okay? <laughs> and this is the result of no preparation. So therefore you can't expect to get a good result. So what I say, get perfected to a certain extent, but let go. And this is something that if you practice it well, you probably get more done. Huh? That's what I'm saying, okay? And that, that, <coughs> Here, you see, procrastination is also due to anxiety. Anxiety is something that we all have for failing to take action. Okay, so you are, you have an example. <coughs> you see, depression or anxiety is a result of not doing some work or not getting it done on time. Right. That will lead you to many things: huh? mental illness. Okay, this is where <coughs> we talked about just now a few minutes ago, psychological things that happen to you. <coughs> now, if you have this, first of all, that you must recognize that you have this <coughs> condition in which you okay. <coughs> condition in which you have a mental problem in not taking it. Okay. Anxiety is also psychological. So you need to seek treatment to get that done. Okay? 
you, you need to find some way to get out of it. Because if anxiety comes all the time, then you're not going to be very productive. There are a lot of people who have anxiety. Uh, that's one of the reasons why they do not want to take a new job or something new or do it a different way, anxiety. They actually have a mental problem. So this kind of people need some medical help. I mean. And if you're not very careful that it leads to other other areas. This is it. And finally, this is see discomfort, intolerance. You understand? It leads you to be disengaged, happens to touch. Okay. So here you have, you know, uh, you should avoid. There are some people who like to avoid being discomfortable, or not comfortable at all, you know. They, they want to avoid this. They want to be comfortable all the time. And such people uh, need to be handled with care. Okay? Uh, if you can afford the time and the energy, you will be able to win. Otherwise, this is, this is something. Uh, if you are like that, because of it, hey, sometimes we process it because of it, it's a it's a mental disease. You don't just want to get uh, because that kind of thing. Yeah? Challenge this. Challenge it and say, hey, even if for a little while, why not? I do it, Lana. Let me try, Lana. The word is to try. If you don't, you'll never know. Yeah. Okay, especially now, uh, in, in current today's world. I don't know, uh, I just read a quick thing just now. It says that all the students, the two or three years ago students, they came out of the university, have got jobs or something like that. And then somebody is complaining, what about the few years of students that come out there? Still, uh, I don't know, 800 medical students who passed, but no, no uh, job, and then there's quite a lot of people in our country who have no job. Did, did you know that? Did you know that? Did, did you know that? Okay. Although they don't publish these numbers, that graduate you know, have no job. Are you, are you all familiar with it? Huh? You should know. Yes? Doctors. Huh? Doctors. Yeah. 800? Is that 800? I'm sure about the number, but yeah. Quite a big number. But they say eight, eight months to get a job, right? Yeah. But every year you chill up 4,000 now. Because the, sometimes it does come to make the budgeting, the allocation, human resource and all that. So whole works. It's not planned properly. You have surplus of staff coming up, graduating, but there's no job, job opportunities. You can't but, plan this problem. But apparently it's a major, a major issue. In our know, country, I don't know. You know what I the last steps I read was that one of the, I mean, unemployment is the lowest, one of the lowest in the world. Really? I think that's right. Okay, I don't know. That. But this report came out only this after when I saw it. The people, some, one, one group was complaining that all these people graduated two years ago have not been given a job, whereas four years ago graduate have not been given a job. And they were complaining about it. Your, your, your relation, those, those girls. And they all in the hospitals already. Already? Yeah. Okay. So that's right. Okay. For eight months, they waited eight months. Then okay. all six of them were their persons. Okay. Post it. Okay. So, so you see, yeah, this is uh, this, this is a, 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 a big challenge for people, huh? So, so I, I don't know how to you will make a comment on that. Right? All I can say is that like, like, we are all the time not comfortable to do something new. We feel un un uncomfortable. I mean, Celine goes through this pressure from me every day. They're forcing her to do things in a new way all the time. Okay? I, I, I don't know when she'll, when she'll give up. Huh? <laughs> But I believe this, uh, unless you do the same thing in a different way, 
you're not progressing. No? You keep on doing it the same old way. And then what result you get? Are you the same bloody result. No? You know, if you do the same thing, no? the same old way, and you expect a new result, you won't get it no? unless you change it. And then it goes back to what you always preach, right? There's always another way of doing it. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I believe this for a very long time now. Everything, anything that you have, can, there are three, there's a 360 degree. Meaning it can be done in 360 different ways. The same thing. Different way to do it. But when you do this, there must be certain amount of scientific logical scientific and logical. It cannot be from the thin air like that. Huh? Oh, I think it can be done huh? like an uneducated fool. Huh? You're not telling you, oh, I can do it. Everything, I can do it. Okay? This thing. Huh? Well, a lot of people like that too. I know. It doesn't matter. I've seen, I, I saw in one construction company that I worked with for a short while where the owner of the company, you know, he always walks around with a, with a gun on his side. You know? uh, always walks around with a gun. And uh, when the chap brought this huge tractor to do, move some earth, and he said, uh, no, no, I don't think I can do this. Uh, I want to do it this way, that way. The owner, of course, he was, see, owner was, was a tractor driver. Not long ago, he, he took out his gun. I thought I was going to shoot the fellow. Huh? He got the gun, put it on the side seat, put it on the car, the thing. And he sat in, and I don't know what he did. Huh? He did exactly how it to be done. Huh? Frightened the hell out of the fellow. <laughs> but there are some people like that, okay? You know? I, I can make it happen. Huh? This is true story of huh? this is true story of Lingoto. True story. Lingoto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the one who did it. Okay, this is a different person. But this uh, story Lingoto, when they constructing the road up there, okay. the big boulder, and the engineers were coming and looking at all the angles. You said you saw the boulder and let the world. He said, get out, I'll do it. I'm hearing the story for many, many years. Many fun. This yeah. is not Lingoto, it's <laughs> somebody else. Right? Yeah, yeah. Eventually the company was listed public and all that, oh. and two years later went bankrupt. <laughs> wow. Okay, but then there's another story. But I, I've seen this again, okay? uh, people who lose it, uh, regardless of what I'm doing, without any scientific reason or logic. You, know? you, you, want, you don't want to do that. There must be a value. <coughs> this is what I'm saying, okay? So, in conclusion, what have we come up with, okay? For well, this one hour and one hour and thirty minutes is so, okay. See, there are a few things, okay? Procrastination is a habit, it's a disease. It is something that whatever you're doing, if you procrastinate or do it afterward, you better examine yourself. You ought to get out of this and say, no, I want to do it now. And unless you do it now, you are not going to do it. Because every time you say I'm doing afterward, or tomorrow, or delay, or whatever the reason is, you are having actually a mentally telling yourself, it's okay to procrastinate. In any job that you do, whether it is a small job or a big job, you need to think about how to get it done now. And then not wait until a week later, ten days later, or next year. And that won't work. Because the, the time is moving in a very rapid way. Every feed that you see, the, the speed at which things are changing uh, in terms of whatever you're doing uh, is drastic. Uh, really, really drastic. Okay? And uh, how can we get better? We can only get better provided we realize that our own behavior needs to be examined. And this is the, the part. You know? All of us don't want to be don't want to examine our own behavior. We want to be, we want to uh, uh, 
examine other people's behavior. We seem to find reason to complain about other people, but not our own. That to me is critical. We, we, those of you who come here will understand this and procrastination. Now let me just sum this up and say, well, the next two sessions, and this is on August the 1st and August the 29th, right? is the date correct? Exactly. The first one is emotional intelligence. That will be on the first, will be here, not in uh, in uh, Bankers Club. The second one is breaking bad habits, uh, overcoming negative behavior. Uh, is the one on the 29th. These two things will be held uh, here next month. Okay? All right, guys. Okay. Okay, now we have about 20 minutes. What shall we do with the 20 minutes, Captain? Talk about procrastination. Tell me. You don't have any procrastination problem. Huh? Huh? Sorry? We do. <laughs> I think you need to examine that. I think it is, if it is good, if you can at least uh, become aware of it. Awareness is the, the key to self-improvement. If you can, if you can spend a little time becoming aware of your own behavior, it'll change you a lot, and you can see that daily changes and how to exactly uh, deal with the situation in which you have delayed it. Uh, I think so. I, I, that's what I do. That's what I do. Constantly, you know, examining myself, I mean, understanding myself, understanding my, everything. Okay. And the, the, the thing is, the more you understand, the more you understand what you're doing and how you're doing it, how could you have done better? Than, you see. If you are a person who does not recognize yourself, you see other people and make conclusions for other people, that I think is a waste of time. You, know? you can't do anything there. You, know? you look at your own self <coughs> and look at the changes that are taking place in you. At my age now, okay, I can see the changes and I can see practically. And, 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 and to fix it, you know? how do I match this? It, it must be matched together. Otherwise, it's not true. Okay. Uh, just now you are talking about the viewing yourself up. So, uh, may I know that maybe it, 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 assuming every day you are learning and improving, uh, and the thing you, the number of things you need to be doing, you become more and more and more. So, yes. may I know how you cater this kind of uh, to prevent overload? Ah, uh, okay. Very good. Very good question. How do you prevent overload? Meaning, meaning, the way I do it. Remember I told you just now? This is not to tell you. There are 16 hours a day. In one day, that's 16 hours, which you can make use of. This is from waking up in the morning to the time you sleep. This is 16 hours you have. Now, in theory, in theory, okay, you can actually do task. You can do 16 tasks because each task should not take more than an hour. You bathe, you change, one hour. Okay? You travel to work, another hour, and so on. So, in order not to overload yourself the way I do it, it's like that. I try to account the review part. I do this every time I do a task, I will immediately review. I do not delay this until tomorrow. 
and, and I must conclude and ask myself, I ask myself, what did I learn from this? Where is it that I could improve? Very quickly, you know? it takes about two, three minutes only. And I, I make a small goal. That's it. Now leave it. That note I write down is for myself, for myself, to go into my own self, get to a level where it starts to operate on its own. Now, it's not because you write down <clears throat> but at what level you put that information in? There are several levels. If you want to just uh, just do it for the sake of doing it, uh, then it's not very easy. But the moment you start to write, say, these are areas I, I could have done this. You, you put it in a different level. So that's another subject or you know, just study, okay? So when you put it at that level, it begins to work by itself. Now, the overload happens because you wait until the end of the day to do a review. That's too much. Because you cannot remember what happened four or five hours ago. Okay? So, never reach a point in reviewing and keep it until one week later to do it, or ten days later to do it, you will have difficulty. You must do it immediately after that particular task is done. Now, in my case, uh, my task usually, uh, usually, will take say an hour of traveling, maybe two hours. This morning, you pick me up. Can I go? Then we went there, and by the time we get back, it's 2 o'clock. So you are talking about 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, that's 5 hours. Okay, for me, lah. So that's, that is traveling task. Okay, actually <coughs> waiting, although we were already there, and seeing the person talking to the person, and then coming back again, losing the road twice, losing direction twice. Whatever. So you do that. You as a salesperson of whatever you want to do, you need to examine that review every time you finish a task. If it means that uh, uh, sitting in the car for a few minutes and doing it, do it. Immediately do it. Because, because you, you are fresh and you know how you've done it, you know you performed it, you're not happy with it. Or you may be happy. Whichever the case is, review it immediately. That's why I said to you 16 tasks. If you want to review 16 tasks in one day, if you don't do it immediately, you'll have a problem. Okay. In my case, I probably do about three or four tasks in the 16 hours. Okay. And that's why my review, uh, one thing I must do, that is, when I go home tonight, I must sit down and go into my software, which, is, which in this case is Excel, in which I write a lot of stories inside. Okay. Suppose I'm very tired tonight, and I don't do it tonight, the first thing I do tomorrow morning will be that. That's about the latest I think. Did I do it tonight, or first thing in the morning? That's the first thing. Before even before even say brushing my teeth or going on to the exercise machine. I do that first. <coughs> if you don't do that regularly, on uh, a regular basis, you get overloaded. And then it becomes too much and you can't do it. But then you want to think what happened seven days ago. You might as well go back to it. Don't just review uh, your work alone. Also review your life, personal life. You know. Because improvement, improving, improvement comes from within. You understand? 
because it comes from within, you need to ask yourself, where is it that you can improve? If you do not know what is wrong, you can never ever find a solution. You'll always behave that everything is okay. Most people live in what they call, uh, the, the famous word for it, they live uh, in denial. The word is denial, no? meaning you know you, are, you can do, but you don't recognize what is wrong with you. They want to be right. And this is the problem. Good question. It takes a lot of hard work. It does. It really does. Uh, as an example, do you do you review your sleep? Or not? You should. You should. Let me say this to you now. Now, I know there are many statistics showing that you need between four to five hours of sleep. But what sleep they are talking about is what is known as deep sleep, which is not at the alpha level. Okay? Which means the way to know whether you have a deep sleep or not, when you get up while sitting in your bed, <coughs> close your eyes and try to remember your dreams. <coughs> if you can remember your dreams, you have not slept well. If you remember your dreams, if you cannot remember your dreams, you have had a good night's sleep. Even though you may have got up and gone to the toilet for a pee. But there is no dream. In other words, you have had a deep sleep. Then you become effective. Now, to some people, they need five. Some people need six. It depends on you. But that Hour is your hour. Okay? Today I've been up from 6 a.m. in the morning, and now it's going to be 8 in the shop bar. By the time I get home, it's 9. By the time I go and have a bath or whatever, it's 10. It's about the only thing I do. The only thing I can do is to probably grab some sandwich and go to bed. Okay? Of course, when I came to bed, my wife would turn on the television and said the television must watch you sleep, okay? <laughs> but see, that's an imitation. Good question. Every time you do a task, review it. Then you immediately uh, know, okay, I should have not done that. I should have immediately can be. But it's a habit. It's a habit that you try to develop. That's why we will be introducing a new sheet in the system called the review sheet. I think Sudha is trying to make that happen. Then, then, then you can actually go into it in a deeper way. But that's the only way you can do it. Otherwise, you're looking at somebody else doing something and you want to do it the same way as he's doing it. You're not improving. You improve what you are doing. In a better way. Whether he's talking to a customer or otherwise. Think along this line. Okay, one of the things is sleep. Review your own sleep. Have you slept well? Did it give you that complete rest that you're looking for? Did you get it? If not, why not? And then if you start to examine your own sleep, you'll get the answer. But then you know what, what's wrong and you can rectify. Otherwise, it will be just a theoretical, very, very theoretical. It will not be something that you yourself develop. Okay, great. Are you doing that now? Yeah. Are you doing this with you now? Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. You find it difficult, right? Yes, in denial. Yeah, this is a... Uh, how to not to deny? Okay. Self-realization. 
information. You must realize it yourself. You don't want to be that. You, you know you are. You cannot. You must accept it. Huh? You must accept it. This is what it is. Huh? It's like this. Huh? Now, let, me, let me say this. Huh? If, if the doctor told you huh, that you got cancer, okay, and you have a certain number of years of time left, how can you deny that? Huh? You go to a second doctor to find out with the right cancer or wrong cancer. Accept it. Then move forward. And what do you do? How do you live the next few years? What else? You understand? A lot of people live in denial because they don't want, what, don't want to accept that this is real. You understand? We have a big problem in our country. Very big problem in our country because <coughs> people have lived in this denial world for quite some time. 61 years ago. Look like that. She said, it's a long road, you know? not an easy road. <laughs> I'm sure you would not want to be in that shoe. Okay, hey, that's what it is. You're right. People live in denial. See, the improving part to me is quite simple. The moment you recognize you can improve, and then you think about it two, three, four times, huh? that improvement will come automatically. It will come automatically. But you recognize it all the time. All the time, recognize it. Recognizing that improvement must be done. The moment you begin to recognize yourself, hey, I'm not good in this. How can I improve? Ask yourself, how can I improve? yourself a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time, an answer will come. Within you yourself will come. Or you might be walking around and suddenly then you look at something, you go and buy a book that says improve yourself. It takes you there and you buy a book. This will lead you to think. And it's interesting. It's, it's, it's an automatic guiding guiding system into, into life. This is regardless of age. Okay? You can of course shut down young and say, I have learned it all. And shut down. But that kind of behavior <laughs> will not take you very far. Okay? Great. Ah, it's five minutes more. Yes. Okay, are we done? All right. Thank you very much for coming. Bye-bye. See you all next time. August the 1st.